Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change an infinite heat switch on your smooth top range. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, we will need to disconnect power to the range. We'll also need to pull it far enough forward that you can access the back. So you may simply choose to unplug it. If not, locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuses. Once we've done that, we can start the repair. So we'll simply pull the knob off, locate the two Phillips screws in behind it. We'll remove those two screws. And then we'll go to the back of the range where we can pull the control back out and exchange it for the new one. Now that we've disconnected power to the range, we've come to the back of it. We'll simply remove the screws that secure the access panel in place. These are typically a quarter inch hex head screw. Then we can lift that panel off and now we're able to swap out that control. Now that we have the back panel removed and our screws removed for the control from the front, we're simply going to pull that control out far enough that we can access the wires on the back of it. And you can either remove them all at once, just take note of the location of each of them, or you can remove one wire at a time and attach it to your new control. That's probably the safest way to do that. Now the wire terminals may be different from the original control to your replacement, but they will be numbered or lettered. So just make sure that you attach the wire to the properly designated terminal. We've chosen to do these one at a time. And just make sure that you have them on the proper designated terminal and make sure they're on nice and snug. If they appear to be a bit loose, you'll want to crimp those with your needle nose pliers. You'll also need to inspect each of those terminals. And if any appear to be corroded or damaged in any manner, you'll need to replace them. So just continue to replace each of the wires. And if they're on there really snug, take your needle nose pliers and pop them off. Now, once we have all of the wires in place, we're gonna fit that back through the opening. And then we're ready to put the rear panel back on. Now, when lining up that back panel, make sure that these two tabs fit into these openings. And the center screw needs to go in behind that portion. Tilt it up into place. Line up all the screw holes. Now we're ready to go to the front of the range and we'll attach the two screws to secure the control to the fascia. So we'll simply pull that control into place. We'll reinstall the two screws. Tighten them securely and then reinstall the knob. We're now ready to push the range back into place, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete. 